Hey guys, it's Hazel. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. If you want to see how I did my hair and how I did my makeup, keep watching. So today I'm going to be doing a glow up transformation video. Oh. I'm going to be installing my synthetic wig. I think it was a show wig. And... I was looking through the comments and I actually didn't look that bad. And then I got it and I'm about to show y'all it. And we're gonna be finessing it today. I'm using a lampshade because I don't have a mannequin yet. You gotta improvise sometimes. My shirt's all wet because I just did a deep conditioner in my hair. And so like I'm all wet and I put my head in the sink. But like just look at this. Look at how bad this is. You can see the tracks sis. But I'm thinking we can do a little something with this. A little 360 for you. My little blonde wig. Y'all have seen it before, but I had a hat on. And it didn't look that bad. But this time, I don't want to wear a hat. I want to see if I can actually make this shit look natural. I watched a couple of videos on how to finesse this shit. It really isn't that bad. Like, it's inches. It sheds. It does shed, like, real bad. Not real bad. I've had, like... Yes, it does. I don't know how to explain it. Like, it sheds if I keep touching it, but... If I really don't lay my hands on it that much, like combing it right now, but I need to because it's kind of ready. It's not really shedding right now, but it probably will. If I, Cause I, when I put it on, I feel like a baddie, so then I keep touching it. So I kind of plucked here. It kind of looks like a real scalp. And I just braided my hair and I want to give my hair a break. I've been trying to bring it back to life. I've been trying to bring my hair back to life because it's been falling out and it's dead. So, I've been doing deep conditioners. I've been taking care of my hair real good for the past two days that I had my hair products. I just got a whole bunch of hair products. I went on Amazon. I spent like a hundred something dollars on hair products. Like, I'm so serious about getting on this hair journey. I want my hair to grow. I want it to get past my shoulders because I'm tired of it not getting past my shoulders. So, I'm serious this time. And then, we're also going to be doing a little makeup look. So, we're going to be transforming into a bad bitch. So Y'all keep watching. And now I'm gonna be putting my wig on this little lamp. That's ET for ya. And we're about to finesse the fuck out of this wig. Wig people to watch me and be like, bitch, you got the whole game fucked up. I wouldn't say the hairline is too thick and it literally has no tracks. It's thin, it looks like kinda cosplay and I'm kinda disappointed that I got this. I should've just spent good quality money on one but it said it was like a whole sale and so i just thought maybe just maybe i read the reviews and i thought it was gonna be all good in the hood but i feel like this would look even more real if i cut the bangs and if i fuck this video up for this wig up for the video it's your guys' fault just give me a little something to it Hold on. You'll probably like get anxiety for me doing this right now. Don't come for me because it's my first time. So if it fucks up, I'm getting this all on YouTube today. Oh my god. This is fucking terrible. Okay, so now I'm not going to be applying the real gorilla glue on my edges. I'm going to apply it on my forehead. Like right here. Just smear that shit on. Just don't come for me. And if y'all see a little track, ain't nobody gonna find me about it. So, oh shit, sis. Oh my god. Oh my god. Okay, so let's just pull this shit down. This is like real life embarrassing. Everybody about to come for me. Ooh, and I cover my big ass forehead. Ah! Finessing them. These motherfuckers gonna think I have a small forehead, but really, I got my daddy's forehead. Why does it feel so hard in the front? Maybe it's from last time. I tried putting gel in this shit. Okay, okay. Why does it look so bumpy? Because my braids is flat. So, what the fuck? What's happening over here? See, like, every time you... Nigga, what if I'm doing a little spin, and then you see... Then you're gonna see a little... 
and be like, oh, like what the fuck? I don't even know how to get those. I, I don't even think I braid it. I think I left a bun in and then, oh my God, this hook is, this hook is stuck on my real head. Here, I mean, shit. My big ass head. I feel like I'm fighting someone right now and they dragging me. <gasps> Period. Now nobody's gonna pull my shit off. If they try, this shit ain't coming off. Let me try. Okay, so. Cause period, bitch. I feel like this looks so weird with my skin color. It looks so much better. It was like an ombre in the fucking picture. So y'all are gonna be like, bitch, why would you pick that? Cause I wanted to pick a blonde that match my skin color and honestly i didn't want to be copying nobody because a girl got her hair blonde on my skin. and i ordered it like a month ahead of time and i was planning on wearing this bitch out as soon as i got it as soon as i selected this hair color everybody ended up getting blonde and i don't even want to be one of those bitches i'm just saying that i would never copy nobody because that's just not me nigga you can't even see that so i just did all that shit for no reason okay i'm gonna do what the girl in the video did so she took a little little strain of hair like this. Maybe this is too thick. These are already crunchy and hard. I think it's from last time. Oh, right now. And then she was like, swoop, swoop. Ow! Ugh! She's killing me. Can you guys tell the difference? Does it look real? Okay. Spray that shit. What if this really turns out bad? Am I still gonna post it? Yeah. See my new backdrop? That's probably gonna be where I record story times. But I'm excited. I might do a little photo shoot in front of that for y'all later. When this is all intact. I don't know if I'm making this better or worse. Because you can see the difference. This is like... Not on my head. This one is to my head. I wish it looked like a real swoop. I might, I'm about to cut this. This is probably where it's all gonna go wrong. Where the fuck is my scissors at? Oh! Bitch, this lady trying to attack me. Type shit. I need to stop cutting my YouTube videos for I don't get, make money. This literally looks like I'm going out for Halloween. No, it don't. I'm a baddie. Okay, so I'm going to cut this little hair. Like that. Ooh. Okay, let's see where this takes us. Bitch, flip that shit. For the hoes. That thing that cuter than me. Okay. Why is it like, it's literally like, oh, oh, I think we did something. I think we outdid ourselves with this. Hold on. Y'all not fucking with me. This looks like a 360 lace, nigga. Got me fucked up. This don't even look fake. <laughs> if someone could show me how to do this, nigga, I'm not gonna just leave it like that. Shit, sound like I'm biting into an apple, combing this shit out. That's the best we're gonna get with these motherfucking edges, cause. But I still wanna fuck with it, cause I'm a perfectionist. It looks better than this. Like, that definitely looks wiggy, but it, it looks like I kind of finessed it a little bit. Okay, so I just wanna say, why do people have problems with me not answering within two or one second or 30 minutes to what they're saying, and they end up deleting their Snapchat what they sent me or they go on Facebook, come on my post and then they end up deleting it and I be peeping all of it. Like y'all really be pressed that someone's not obligated to text you back or respond in 20 seconds. Like I be getting ready to respond back, but it's like, and I don't feel like I'm popping because I'm ignoring you or something. It's just cause like, come on now. I feel like it's never that serious. You used to be the one I talk to every night. Waiting for my love to break up. That grass ain't green on the other side. 
If y'all want me to sing, make a singing video, comment. Let me stop. This is low-key looking real. I think I'll done myself with this shit. Zillion lace front, nigga. That's what this is. Y'all would never know that it was synthetic. Oh my god, this shit's getting in my fucking eyeball. And scalp look real, honey. <laughs> this whole video is a fucking lie. All right, with this shit type shit, like I want to go to the gas station and turn up. Let me get my gas station pictures. Oh my god, I can't even put my fingers through this shit. Oh, sis, no, someone gonna come up to me and be like, "Oh my god, is that a lace 360 Brazilian wave, nigga?" And then they're gonna put their fingers through it, and this shit gonna be like. Like, that's not cute. I low-key fuck with that. I feel like that's what we need because it looks real. So, I want to do that. How did I create? I think we went like this. But we just want to do that the whole way down. What are these called? Layers? Okay, so we just go huh, down from here. Make it just starting to come up. Look, this looks real. Just don't lift my wig up, and we'll be fine. As long as I ain't doing no backflips or cartwheels, keeps coming apart. So what the fuck, y'all? I don't know how to do edges at all. So if I'm doing them wrong, give me some tips. I hope y'all didn't see my my lace front, my little fake hair, my little track. Hope y'all didn't see that when I was doing. Damn! If y'all see me, would you be like that hair is cute, or would you be like this? <laughs> Why did you do that? Okay. So all up in my oop, not gonna show you that. Okay. I think I only paid like thirty dollars for it and that's where I went wrong. Me and DJ put an entertainment stand together. Well he did because I glued or put all the pieces wrong together. So he had to redo it. But I put our little table stand together, which was easy. It was only fourteen dollars from Walmart. And then the other one, the T V stand was 60 something dollars i'm pretty sure which is a good deal Lizzie, that's why i haven't been making videos and i'm sorry that i haven't been putting stuff out i've just been in a depression i love youtube this actually helps me so i should just come on here more but i always film videos believe it or not and then i delete them like this is what i stay doing and then i delete the video I'm trying to look like a city girl. I'm trying to look like a hot girl. So he had me fucked up. So I had to get out the house. So because I'm not even about to say why I'm mad at him. I'm not even about to put my business out there. But we were not in a good spot. So I took off. I did my laundry last night. I recorded a video. And it was me complaining. And coming off saying all my business and that's not what I want to do online and I have a tendency of doing that and that's not what I want to do I don't want people to be able to hold things against me and stuff like that so I just didn't post it because I don't have to but I am going to say this rant that I said from the video so when I was mad at my boyfriend yesterday I was texting people because I wanted to hang out with people to get out the house so I was going to flee the scene, so then I'm calling and texting people, and you want to know what's funny? All them people that be making those little Facebook posts talking about nobody hits me up, I don't got no friends, nobody cares about me, and I have no friends, and blah, 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 blah. I called so many people yesterday, nobody fucking answered my call, or somebody had an excuse. And the quarantine is a good excuse, though. I ain't even tripping about that, but here, I'm gonna move this lamp out the way. 
into some better lighting, right? Yes, I'm using this desktop because I went on the Walmart app and it said they had ring lights there. But then when I went to go there, they didn't have ring lights and I looked everywhere. And then I even asked this dude and he didn't know what the fuck he was talking about. And, um, what's it called? The little phone section where you can get all the electronics, the electronic section. He didn't know what he was talking about. And he looked at me like I was stupid when I asked him. He was high. Ain't nothing wrong with that, but I'm going to have to shop online for it, which I don't have an issue about. It's just, I just don't want to have to do that. I hate waiting. I'm impatient. So I improvised. I ended up getting a desk lamp. And they work pretty good. I just don't like when I lean back, lean forward, lean back. The lighting always changes and it hits my face different every time I move. So that's the only bad thing about it. But other than that, it's pretty, it's good lighting. So, uh, so if y'all is about to make a YouTube video and start out your channel, I definitely recommend LED um, desk lamps. I got three of them and I'm pretty sure that equal 20 something dollars. Which isn't bad because ring lights are a lot of money. I still want to get one. I just, I'm starting out so I'm not going to do nothing crazy. But anyways, back to my rant. So people complain about not having friends all the time. Or people that do have friends always share the post of I have no friends. I literally only have two. So yes, you do have friends. It don't matter if it's two or one. You still have friends. Like people like me are the ones who should be sharing that post. Because I literally have zero friends like I feel like I'm the one who should be sharing shit like that and I hate when people share shit that don't relate to them like what is the purpose of you sharing that ain't no motherfucking reason y'all just want attention that shit's annoying like y'all y'all want to have problems so fucking bad but be having people to talk to or have people you can hang out with and then be like, nobody hits me up to hang out. Okay, don't, I literally called you and then you gonna be on social media active. So that shit's dead. I need some friends who wanna hang out and wanna do stuff. Or it does relate to them. Like if it's something, a post about someone being fake or something. Oh my God, I really wanna use this. I don't know if that will look good with the whole look. I, think I always catch my phone before it, like, exactly when it's on 1%. I always catch it before it dies, which I think is crazy. I'm sorry if you hear the people talking downstairs, loud-ass noises. Quit sharing posts if it don't fucking pertain to you. I'm gonna blend this one with my finger this time. Cause I feel like the blending brush takes a lot of the product away and I want my eyeshadow to pop. So I'm gonna be smudging this around with my finger. Super busy, buying stuff for the apartment, trying to get it together, trying to get it to look decent. And it's coming together in the living room. I just need a carpet and I'm gonna get, I want a glass table for the living room. I ordered so much stuff online for this YouTube stuff and I ended up not getting a backdrop but I got a clothing rack which works so good as an alternative and y'all are probably gonna think that's ghetto but backdrops are like 33 plus dollars when a clothing rack was 14.88 and it's the same shit it's tall it's the same height. I ended up getting sparkly backgrounds and I'm so excited to be recording with that. I think those are gonna be, cause I don't like this background. I don't like that. Y'all be seeing the wig in my video up there and shit. Y'all be talking shit about me and shit, fuck y'all. Basically we got a transition shade on right now. Hope y'all can see that. I'm starting to believe this quarantine, this COVID shit is not true. Like I teeter-totter back and forth between thinking, oh, it's real, it's not. 
because when this all first started, there wasn't a lot of, like, I just didn't believe it. Like, there wasn't a lot of people dying from it. I didn't really hear nothing from it. And all of a sudden, all these people started dying from it. And then, then and it said it's coming closer to my town. Like, an old man died from it, like, in the town that I was talking about, my last story time, that's an hour away from me. Um, he ended up dying from corona. Thinking, oh my god, this shit's serious. I'm still taking precautions. Okay, so anyways, the reason I don't think it's real is because I seen this girl's post and she said that her friend's grandma passed away from coronavirus and I mean the post said, Oh, I know a lipstick I'm gonna use. Alright, you know, I'm using this. So it said that her grandma ended up passing away from a heart attack and she really they classified it as COVID. So like apparently they're going around doing this thing where it don't matter what you pass away from, they're gonna classify it as COVID from now on. Like if you're like an older person. So like apparently they were gonna do a lawsuit against this hospital because they knew that's not what this woman died from or something crazy, something like that. Something along the lines that's like but that don't mean I'm still not taking precaution. And like, it's like, do I got it? Even if I do, they're not gonna do nothing for you at the hospital. Really don't do tests on you. As a teenager, they'll do it on, I think they do it on babies and old people. Like you have to be a certain age for them to run any tests on you and see if you got it. They will not do it on people our ages. Unless you're like celebrities. And Cardi B was talking about this on her little Instagram you gotta watch the video she was saying that they really care about celebrities they don't give a fuck about us she's spitting facts she was saying that even if you do have it all they do is send you home they're not gonna keep you they don't keep you there because they don't want anybody in the hospital catching it and apparently they don't keep you they don't hospitalize you they don't do none of that they send you right the fuck home with your family so it's like how serious is this really? I'm snobby right now and I'm not trying to. I'm just genuinely confused. I need to be educated on this. Pandemic. So I'm starting to believe this shit ain't true, ain't real. Until one of my folks die from it or I see like actual proof that people are dying from it. Leave a comment down below what y'all think is happening. And distract us from something. With my eyebrows. This one always ends up thicker than the other one. I don't know why. So I'm slimming it down. And I don't even have like, like they're like both plucked evenly. So it makes no sense why I always do this one thick on accident. This color, you want to build up your pinks like, or I don't know Mary said that. When you're doing eyeshadow, you want to build up and up to the color that you're trying to use. A lot of people don't know this. They just take that bright ass color and start going in with it. And that's not what you want to do. So say you're doing a pink look, you want to build up to pink. So you want to do a lighter pink to medium pink to the pink that you want to use. That's what you're supposed to do. Brush, you always want to hold it at the bottom and work your way into that crease. And you always want to have a light hand with this because if you go in with it hard, you're going to get a lot of product that you didn't want and it's going to look a hot mess express and your eyeshadow is going to be fucked up. So you want to really have a light hand with when you're blending and like you want to take as little eyeshadow as possible on your brush. Like if you get eyeshadow, you can tap it on your hand, you can do a little flick. Because you don't, like if you go in with too little shadow, you're not going to make a mistake. If you go in with a lot of eyeshadow, you're going to make a mistake. I'm color into my crease right now. Oh my god, that fucking blonde hair, this is what I mean by the shedding. I got blonde hair stuck to my fingers. Well, everyone knows that I'm coming for them when I say you didn't answer my call or text yesterday when I asked if you wanted to hang out. But y'all be the main ones talking about, I don't even got no real friends. Nobody hits me up. The Lord will always find a way for me. Oh my gosh. I like me, my best they looking icy, charging by the To see the new me. Whoa, whoa, whoa. My past they did me dirty. Broke my heart. Scorching me. You're so I'm a nigga.
Niggas probably never understand. Niggas, I don't bitch, I'm not, I'm me, I'm who I'm woo 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 recommend it because like the edges aren't sticking down maybe it's because i made it too thick but other than that it's a cute look i mean i made one of my braids too big over here but it's just what i could do next time to fix it so yeah this is the finished makeup look thank you guys so much for watching like share and subscribe watching stay tuned for the next youtube video